the PFAS annihilators are technology. And five years ago, the Telmo Moral Institute had an idea. They saw a big picture problem to solve as PFAS. There's remediation, there's ongoing use. It's a forever chemical and how do you destroy it? Um, there's a lot of science that goes into it, but over the course of the last five years, they've developed a technology called supercritical water oxidation that essentially uses heat, pressure, and a flow rate to destroy PFAS in a liquid form. And what's really neat about that is there's over 5,000 chemicals in the PFAS family. We're able to destroy PFAS less than detection levels, part per trillion, um, across all the different spectrum of PFAS molecules in the family. They're called forever chemicals because in nature, you think plastics for a minute, they recycle them. Eventually, recycle the plastics degrade. It could take decades or hundreds of years, but there's a natural biological degradation process. Now, juxtapose that against PFOS. There's no degradation cycle. There's not a half-life that's within thousands of years. And as a result, because it's not only a forever chemical and it's bioaccumulative, meaning our bodies can't eliminate it. So when we ingest it, when we breathe it, our bodies can't process it and eliminate it. That molecule accumulates in the body, and then there's health effects. So 96% of human beings in the planet have some type of PFAS measurable in the bloodstream. And so these vessels, this is the primary lines on the So our treatment starts here to the camera right. So what we do is we take dirty material that looks almost like syrup, brown, it's colored, it's very thick and viscous. We do some pre-treatment on it over here on the left. It goes through our annihilator. We use temperature, we use pressure, and we manage the flow rate, how fast it goes through the system. And eventually what comes out after about 10 to 30 seconds of runtime is very pure, clean water with only salt in the material. So that's actually the vessel that you see here behind the annihilator vessel is pure clean water on the back end, very dirty water that we start with. 